Hi, my name is Jason Simon. I am the Packaging Lab Manager in our DDL Minnesota facility. Today I'm here to talk to you about the changes to the ASTM F1929-12 uh, dye leak test method. The dye penetration test um, is a seal integrity test uh, for medical packages um, that have a porous sheet material as well as a transparent sheet. The test is designed to uh, show uh, when dye is in, uh, incorporated into the test to um, show a channel uh, across the entire seal width of a package. So the changes to the standard include two additional methods uh, for the dye penetration test. Those include the edge dip method uh, and the eyedropper method. The first test method is method A, the injection method. This is the original portion of the dye uh, test um, and no changes have been made. Um, the dye is injected into the inside of the package and the package is rotated um, to seek out channels in the seals of the package. The second test method is method B, the edge dip method. Uh, in this method, the, the package is dipped into the dye solution only about a quarter of an inch, and it is then inspected for channels across the entire seal width. Um, in this scenario, it's important that you uh, evaluate the package uh, for channels by looking at the transparent side of the uh, package. The third method is method C, the eyedropper method. Um, in this method, the dye is applied along the outer perimeter of the package. Um, what is critical for this test method is that the package must have enough excess material beyond the seal so that uh, it can, can contain the dye. 